York Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for tonight's main event. 12 rounds in the middleweight division. Each man comes in. And we are underway for this scheduled 12-rounder. That left hand over the top, he's accurate with it. Come on, baby, use your feet. Left to the body. With the body. Oh, what a power punch he was able to land there. Joe, that's what you call setting up a trap. Not a mouse trap, but a punch trap. Step back a little bit, invited him in, bang. Great movement to get away from those punches. Locks that punch. Halfway through round number one. A flush hook scores well for him. Now look at him. He does not look good on the back end of that hook coming home. Targeting that straight left hand. Clean shot with the right. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Hooks to the head. to the head. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later. and something you gotta start early and stay with. Mistargeted. 10 seconds to go in this round. Nice work, the left hand to the head. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he was doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. <laughs> Solid left. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. A good block. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Teddy, do you think the sport needs a national or international governing body? Yeah, it's the only major sport, at least it used to be a major sport, that doesn't have that. And there's no unilateral control. When there's no unilateral control across the board, well, you have too many spots, spots that are weak for the sport, 
spots that do not serve the sport. Blocks that punch. How do you break out of this, Teddy? How do you break out of this mode where you're just thinking defense because you got hurt earlier in the fight? Well, a good corner. First of all, a corner guy has to tell him, hey, look, are you just trying to survive right here? Because if that's what you're going to do, okay, you may survive, or he may just step it up where you don't even have a chance to survive later. But if you want to win this fight, you have to get a hold of yourself, you have to listen to me, and you have to find a way to create offense again. Well-placed hook. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Right on the mark, double jab. Hit the body. You're doing great. Final 10 seconds. We come to the end of the round. A round that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's one thing you look for in a round like that and say, okay, I'm going to give it to this guy over this guy, what is it? Well, the first thing is, if I'm a judge, I take a little notepad and I make a little mark down blue or red corner what he did early. Because sometimes a judge has a tendency to forget what was done early and only go with what went late. Blocks that punch. He scores with the jab. Wow, is he defensively sound. That shot unable to land. With a big blow up top. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. Keep working the body. Still not moving enough. Come on now, move. Move. Solid uppercut. Way through this round. That hook was well off the mark. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Not much action as he just ties up. Use the ring! Use the ring! Just missed scoring with that punch. See how he targets that hook? Scored well with that right hand to the body. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Come on, get busted. And we come to the end of the round. As we start round number four, not a lot separating these guys. Sometimes you can steal a round or two just by being the busier guy. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit about those legendary stories the old-timers used to tell me about Rocky Marciano. You know, they used to say that he used to hit the guy's arms. You know, he wasn't scoring clean, but he was keeping his opponent from scoring back. And then later in the fight, he was disabling his opponent from coming back. You got this one!
A lot of people may think he's putting forth a good effort just by throwing punches, but his corner would disagree. He is not being effective. Oh, not at all. And why? Why is he not being effective? Because he's not thinking about what he's doing. He's just chucking punches. He's not really putting any intellect behind it. Look at the way he has to throw it instead of just throwing it. Frustrating his opponent now as he's so defensively sound. It doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very... Big shot. The right came clean. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Hand. Good straight shot. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Ten clicks. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Boy, he was damaged, but now he's defending himself well. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't, he's chomping at the bid. He's confident. I'm wondering what the opposing corner is going to do here. They got to their man earlier. They were able to rock him, and really nothing's changed. He's showing them the same exact look, the same exact style that he came here with. Well, first of all, the opponent should keep doing what he's doing. You know, you're landing, you found something that's working, stay with it until he changes. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. <laughs> Trying to time that straight left hand, and he does so with ease. Now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. A minute and a half to go. You're still not moving enough. Move. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Yourself. 
keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. You're not focusing. Blocks away that headshot. Ten seconds remaining in this round. He just missed that shot up top. Good return fire that time. This round is in the books, and it looks like the gas tank on this fighter may be heading towards empty here. What is this, a case of guys just not putting in the road work and the conditioning prior to a fight? No, you got to figure he came in. His weight was good. Scales don't lie. We looked at the weight. He came in pretty good condition. Right, nine, I think what it is is now he's starting to get broken down a little bit, physically and mentally. The other guy is starting to impose himself on him. Teddy, I'm starting to wonder, what is the answer for this guy? Can he do anything else in this? Yeah, he throws punches, but he has no accuracy. Can this change in mid-fight? Well, it has to if he wants to win this fight. And how does it change? Well, you know, the problem is these things have to be put in place in the gym. I don't know if you could do it right now, but if you could, you tell him in the corner, hey, tighten up a little bit, you know, shorten up these darn punches. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Work the body, kid. Body shot. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Comes right back with a shot of his own. He's showing very good footwork. He's showing fine defensive movement here. But as for the opponent, how do you solve that? Well, you got to make believe you're a football player. You got to make believe you're a linebacker in football. You go down the line with that running back. You don't go following him around the place. You make sure you move laterally. That's exactly what he's got to do. He's got to cut that ring down, take space away. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. End of the round, a round, end of the round, a round I do believe that he was able to take. But his opponent is there stride for stride. This is going to be a close fight. Teddy, where do you have him on the scorecards? Is he I, up? Yeah, I have him slightly ahead. But as you said, very close fight. And the kind of fight where you let up for a moment, you're going to lose it. And he's holding. And he decides to tie up again. Now this can become a bore, and he's making a decision to do it as he ties up again. 
keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. He's got that certain something that's a well-acquired skill in this craft of boxing, and that is superb defense, and it's on target tonight. It is. The old-timers would say, you know, that's the hard thing is to learn defense. You know, the easy part, the fun part is let your hands go. So he's got the hard part down. Guess what? He's enjoying the fun part right now because of it. Halfway through the seventh round. <laughs> that was off the mark. I can imagine throughout your career, you've been all over a lot of fighters for lack of movement. Yeah, it's very, very frustrating because you start to wonder, does he want to win the fight? Yeah, good, good, That's good what work. you start to wonder. <laughs> Just 10 focusing. seconds to go in this round. Keep it up, keep it up. That's it now. Nice work out there. Keep fighting smart and keep busy. Don't take a break with this guy. Throw, throw punches, okay? Don't walk. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard as we start this eighth round. And I think this tells pretty much the story. Yeah, he's got a slight lead. However, there have been those moments where you see a defensive flaw. Yeah, the other guy's coming on fast. The defensive flaw is that he covers up too much. He blocks too many punches. And when you're blocking too many punches, while the guy puts punches together, some are going to get through. Some are getting through. Just holds on there. I like this kind of defense, Teddy. I like this kind of guy that just says, go ahead, think you can try to hit me up top. You can't. Great movement. No, very good movement, very good vision. He sees everything. To do this, you have to be very calm. He's very calm, he's very in control. The halfway point of round number eight. Well-placed overhand left after denying his opponent's effort. <laughs> that just missed. He could go down. What the body?
Work the body, kids. Body shot. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. Back to the body. Teddy, okay. making predictions in boxing okay. is often right. a dangerous I task, but I'll make one right here that seems pretty right. obvious to me as now we come to the end of that round in. here. Swing. This fight uh, is going to be a brutal display as long as it lasts. It's kind of like going and watching that home run contest. Nobody's trying to hit singles or doubles. You know they're all going for the fences. Start of a new round, and you got to expect his opponent to jump all over him. He nearly got rid of him at the end of the last round. Yeah, if I'm in the other corner, I'm telling him get after him. But you can use that in reverse. You know your opponent's coming after you. Maybe he gets a little reckless. You have an opportunity to nail him as he's coming after you. His opponent got away from that uppercut. Go, go, go. uppercut. <laughs> Don't let him get at you. He missed with that headshot. Ninety seconds into the ninth relax, round. Relax, relax. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Oh, now God. hugging on the inside. Tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Fires right back at him. to improve that accuracy missed with the headshot oh, you're still not moving enough move move final chance last 10 seconds of round nine move your head end of the round and he's had better rounds in the fight than the one we just saw but still it's very much there for the taking yeah, whoever finishes up strongly in the late parts of these rounds, a lot of times, you know, the judges get mesmerized a little bit here, too. You know, it's a real close fight, and you kind of Beautiful. forgot where Beautiful. the separation was. And whoever round, grabs the exactly last like part of the this. round, this that's who you remember. Fight, right? It's very important Please in this kind of fight, fight, finish up good at the Jam, end of the round. Way, okay, Jam, come on. And we are back underway, another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way.
see the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Nelly ties up there. Throwing a lot of punches here. Now his opponent is showing very, very good movement. What adjustments can he make to What's deal with that movement? Well, Joe, when you find a guy who's smart, who's hard to hit, first of all, you got to shorten those punches up. If they're wide, they have no chance at all. And you got to go to the one place that's not moving. Guess where that is? Downstairs. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. Holding on. Keep moving, keep moving. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Solid. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. That's okay. That's okay. Let it go. Let it go. And that's, that's the go. end of round 10. You can, do it. you can do this. Now we can recover from that knockdown. Let's do it. You got to watch the water in the corner. Too much. To me, this looks like a fight where one guy's pulling away from the other. I know it's very close on your scorecard as we start this 11th round, but you can see where the momentum lies. Yeah, the momentum is in his control. Let's he knows it, and he's the only one who can give it up right now. And I don't think he's gonna. <laughs> That wasn't able to land. That's what I want to see. Get him. Get him. Come on, kid. Focus now. I need you to focus for me. Not Use hitting the his ring. mark Use there the going upstairs. There you go. No. Good. 
tying up again here after being knocked down. Kick what should his opponent be doing to deal with this? See, that's the right question. We're just looking at the guy grabbing. His opponent is allowing him to grab. You know, it takes two to tangle to do that dance. His opponent should be taking a step back, not letting him grab, and keeping his hands moving. on to his opponent. Relax, come on now, relax. Deep breath. Keep moving, keep moving. You're still not moving enough. Come on now, move, move. Swing up. Good looking right hand after he got hit. Mark there. End of the round. And this is a little bit hard to take if you're sitting back at home watching this fight and saying, I, I just don't get it. I mean, if you want to win the fight, you have to throw punches. Maybe he doesn't want to win the fight. See, you're taking for granted that... What, is he scared? He's fearful? Hey, everybody's scared. Anyone who's in that ring is scared. He's not controlling his fear. He's not taking it, and that's for people in all aspects of life, whatever they do. You have to take whatever it is that can intimidate you, and you got to put it on the side and say, okay, right now, I'm not going to let that get in the way. He's letting it get in the way. Final round of this scheduled 12 round. Great right was lined up, but he missed. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Missed the target with that hook. Blocks it away. Halfway through this 12th and final round. He's tired, he's tired! Way to block there. That punch nowhere close. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Just a minute to go in this bout. Defensive skill. You're not focusing. You're not focusing. He's 
showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. And they will bring it home in the last 10 seconds of this final round. Come on, kid, fuck this. A consistently strong performance tonight. You don't have to be a calculus major to score this one. Just put those 10 nines together. And our ring announcer is standing by with the official decision. A unanimous decision. Teddy, your scorecard falls in line, and everybody here in the arena knows exactly what happened to him. Yeah, this was an easy one. I mean, I think that you would have had a big problem with the crowd, not to mention me, your broadcaster right here, if these judges gave it any other way. It was a good one indeed. And for Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time at the fights.